Hey everybody and welcome to Wise Exotics. This is May Start 2024, the video log series. Joining me is Minnie and Hades. So if you see any cats run by, that's why. Now, that being said, this is mainly a video log I do to mark the good, the bad, the weird, what's going on, and or what's progressing. So to start, uh, the collection's doing quite fine. If you ever need help or inquiries into if I sell anything or trade, Pop over to Instagram, I'm Wise Exotic, one word, same little green owl. Feel free to ask questions or whatnot, I'll try to give the best advice I can or point you in the direction of somebody I know who's more knowledgeable. Either way, whatever the case, I hope it helps. Um, that being said, collection's doing well. No bad news, some interesting things at point. Uh, Purple Haze did come in, which is Roco X... Bosch X VCI, then that is crossed with a Naga. So that was a special 420 plant series from Carnivero. Now, that is similar to that unique specimen I got the last time, which was a Ventricosa Maja cross with a Roco X Bosch X VCI Yellow Striped. Now, that one's a unique specimen. That is not on their website. You cannot buy that, typically, because that's a one-off. But the Purple Haze is available on their website. Now, I got this one for 60 which it's in the bag here. Uh, but they were going anywhere from 75 to 80 so it's a nice-sized one. I'll pop over that in a sec. Let's see. Anything interesting going on right now? Uh, 4021 uh, Cold Nodice is doing something kind of weird. And the humidifier is going crazy <laughs> right now. I'm trying to compensate. I might pop it off for just a sec. So, pretty easy to use. There is actually a remote, but I don't feel like doing it. It's right here. Now, um, as I said, I do sell some plants on uh, Instagram. I sold a few, so I had to play plant Tetris and shifted things around. As you'll notice, the seed bag that was here is now in the tank on the left side. So one and two are on the left, and three and four are on the right. Those are seed pods, one and two split in half. Uh, that is VCI Yellow Parasome X Brown Black Parasome crossed with Maraud Striped X Candy Striped. Some really good progeny and prior uh, germination of these. So I've already seen someone have uh, some starting to germinate, and they got theirs earlier than mine. So a couple of weeks in, so... We'll see how it goes. It's only been like a week since I've sown them, so it should take anywhere from two to maybe even two months for them to germinate if they're slow. So keep that in mind. Let's see, plants are doing well. I moved the two Josh siblings, which are called J1 and J2 down here. The, J1 was getting a little too sun scorched under the spotlight, I believe, so I wanted to shift it where it was getting less direct crazy light, so it seems happier right there. And it's siblings next to it. The sibling is variegated with red speckles. And has red pictures with white stripes and then the one sibling has normal leaves that are wavy green kind of pale and it has white and red striped and speckled traps so it's it's they're actually pretty yin yang between the two of them inversions of each other now that being said i got mini app hopping on me there is mini as i said i had some cats joining me in here um let's see so we'll go over and check out plants first so this is Golden Odyssey, which is a plant that is a 4021 Golden Barrow crossed with Golden Barrow. This is seed grown. This is one I picked up from my friend Samantha, who is Golden, or is Nepenthes Odyssey. So I called it Golden Odyssey in honor of her, because I bought it from her. So I, I try to name them things so I remember where I get them, if they're unique specimen. If it's a clone, I tend to not name it, because everybody can get that clone. But if it's a unique specimen, I think it's fair to give them a cool name. So check out what its growth tip's doing. Yeah, dual growth tip or a growth tip within a growth tip or some other freaky mutation thing going on. Not quite sure. Um, yeah, you can see I have a normal 402 one I got from Pearl River. If you ever need one, you can um, check that out their site. They actually break them up in the striped or non-striped. But yeah, this is a new one. I've never seen a dual growth plant like this before. So quite an interesting phenomena. <laughs> now, as we're talking about VCI, we'll check on VCI B here. This is the one I call Taffy. I got from my friend Tyler. Um, it's fast to pop open and stripe, but it's very slow to get its flare points, as you can see. It's got a nice point at the bottom. So this one's gonna be crazy. This one's gonna be crazy when it gets bigger. These are not that big, so 
Keep in mind, these will get more and more prominent. Uh, VCIA. This is one that I really wanted in my collection for a while, so I'm really happy that Samantha was able to sell me this one. Red with red spots, nice flare and stripe. This one's slower to get its stripes, but it's faster to get these flare points. I guess there's an airplane above me or something. Anyway, you can see from a prior picture here on VGIB, that's what it looked like before. Now, this one hadn't done much for Tyler, so that was the first time it ever had stripes was with me, and now it's gone from that to this. So, pretty impressive, pretty impressive. I'll give it credit where it's due. Uh, Samadira here has a new leaf. I did bring lemon cherry out. So lemon cherry is right here now, hanging out in the thing. It popped a new trap already, doing quite well. Uh, Red Leaf Exotics 30. Just kind of like a little iconic plant within my traps that just hangs here all by itself doing its own thing. It has big leaves, but it only has, likes to have like two leaves at a time. It's really weird. This one did not do much until... I got it, and this is its first trap with me in, like, six months. So, pretty dramatic and impressive little specimen. You can see all the little plants are doing quite well. Um, Mira's got a basil, as you can see there. Right straight through there, you see a little basil in the brush growing out. Um, all the plants are doing quite well. Uh, Glendiflora exwardsiana growing quite well there. My Ventricosa Red seed grown. Uh, Minima X um, Mollus doing well. I love the coloration. It's almost like flames red, orange, and yellows. Capieta, Bongso, seed grown, and the uh, lemon cherry. I do have one Capieta X Bongso still. I've sold the other two siblings that were smaller, but one is still here, hidden among all this somewhere. If I put it in the tank. Oh, I know I I still have it, so I'll find it when I need it. Now, that being said, a um, little interesting note here. So this is the second picture off of the plant I call Super Glue. It's Super Glue because it has an extremely complex name, and I literally regrafted it back together when I first got it. So if you look here in the below the green ring is a nick kind of on the stem. That's where the stem literally was popped in half, snapped off basically and I put crazy glue because it got snapped off in shipping around the ring and held it together with tape and put it on a stick and you know here it is months later and it's regrafted and grand perfect plant here is its first official trap after being regrafted back together and it's open and it's striped I love super glue it's quite pretty if I can get it to not hide its trap under its leaf that would be great but whatever Raja Aima, Raja Peltata doing well, Cherry Bomb, Cherry Bomb's sibling. I call Cherry Bomb because look at these cute little squat traps. It's almost like a pure Viking or Globasa, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you look over at sibling, it looks more like Black Miracle. It's black with white stripes, so it's kind of a weird one-off on that. Their sibling is around here also. Uh, there's another one. I, I think, yeah, it's right over here. So it's that one. And then I have some other Black Miracle Viking hybrids. The larger one is Raf, or Viking X Raf number two, and its sibling is right up there. Sibling is more taller, stout Raf, and this is kind of a good mix of Viking X Raf. But this one gets purple speckles. Quite interesting. Uh, let's see, my larger Raf is thinking about putting out a trap. It did not like the winter as much, but... It has plenty of basil, so they're also sucking some good amount of nutrients out of it. Um, this is called Loei exventricosa here, or Briggsiana succubus has a basil that's doing quite well. I might be trimming that off soon and make it into a cutting, rooted. You're a pretty good hardy plant. Uh, Sibionensis, check out that trap. That is beautiful. It's already got another one developing in here, so hopefully we'll see another one soon. Now, let's go check out the tank setup. So, we're in the tank setup. Let's see there, just for me to quickly blow up. We have the seeds in here. Uh, one and two doing fine. No mold or algae yet, uh, but no germination either, so a little progress there. The two that had to be trimmed and repaired, as you can see, popped perfectly healthy little growth tips so my little 
trick for doing this seems to help them or maybe stimulate them to grow a little better. I'm not quite sure, but they're doing quite well. I'm going to keep the one I want and probably sell the other one. <laughs> Whichever one has an interesting. These are uh, KX Barrio squats, so we'll see how they develop. How's Mountain X Barrio, a complex VCI Grex. Which is Big Mama Pink Candy Cane Clone 13 crossed with Azekin X Barrio. Now I have Azekin X Barrio over there, so we'll see how this one develops in conjunction with its parent or possibly uncle, aunt. Because there are um, Akazukin X Barrio seed grown. There was also a specific plant that was used in um, breeding cultivation. So I am not sure which one I have, honestly. You can always ask, so I might do that. Later, uh, a couple of these hybrids are doing quite well. I'm gonna have to fix that growth tip because they're trying to become friends. Ceratensis X Vici. My friend Mike still has a few of these. Ceratensis is actually critically endangered, the same thing as Clipiata and whatnot. So finding hybrids of them is actually pretty rare, and I don't know why I'm clicking this other than randomness. Uh, but they are not readily available usually but there is a couple people who are starting to breed them cultivation wise i did get one of those from so it's right here it's where you got nice happy little picture a little bit of a leaf reduction but it's it's growth tip pretty slow now this is an ultra low land and being grown in the same tank as a diabolica which is ultra highland so please keep that in mind my setup's weird i've already explained how i do this it might not work for everybody but it's what i do and for whatever reason seems to be working <laughs> So we are not going to question it nor uh, inquire why it works. We just accept that it works, and I'm just going to keep growing what I grow. These are both uh, KX Candy Stripe X Candy. I also have a KX Candy F1 in the other area, and that one hasn't really pushed a new trap yet. The Bongso siblings, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Well, the three is getting actually pretty large. I might need to repot three soon. Hmm. Look at these, they were this big. It's so adorable to watch how big they've gotten. Two, two seems to be the normal one. Just growing at a normal rate. Three seems way too quick and has a basil. So three is already probably the hardiest. Two looks to be the darkest. Or one, yeah, one seems to be the darkest. But I don't know, three's pretty close. I'll let you guys decide. So tell me which one you think is darker. I'm at a weird angle, so they both look dark to me. Uh, let's see. J3 over here, which is a complex from, from Josh, which is slowly fading, so I might just flip its tag around so I can I'll write a new tag here. This is Loei Vici Bosch Adriani X Perbergade, so this one could be really pretty with stripes. But so far, the traps are fairly reddish orange. No, haven't seen any stripes on it. My little is Raph, doing quite well in here. This complex uh, Black Miracle Hybrid, which is looking more and more like a pure Black Miracle in some ways. This is Viking X Ampular Spotted, crossed with Viking Cucurina, and then that is all crossed with the Black Miracle. So definitely gets a lot of that strong genetics from Black Miracle. I'm pretty sure my hypothesis that Viking and Black Miracle are related is accurate because there's just way too much red variegation popping up and that, that should be a recessive trait. Either that or it's like Chimera variegation, which again is an interesting aspect in that cells. North Ian is doing well, so tennis as I said. Uh, Raja, so random note of this Raja if I haven't covered this or if you don't know this, BE3152 are also called the Q clones, K-E-W. They are from the Royal Botanical Gardens. Uh, these are all female apparently. So if you wanted a female Raja, supposedly they've all flowered as female for whatever reason. Mine's been doing quite well, and it has a lot of basils, and the basils is fighting with the main plant half the time. So I'm going to be doing a cutting of at least the larger basil soon and trying to root that. So follow along with me and see if I can get that to work. I do not have a good track record with uh, Raja cuttings. So do that. That being said, I do have a seed grown Raja right here from Nepenthes God. Look how big that new trap is. Like, okay, so that trap is that tall by that wide. Look at this Raja. This is the older Raja. That's crazy. Let's see. This is the complex unknown hybrid or unknown Nepenthes. 
from what I could understand talking with people, forums, Facebook and the like, there was quite a few of these made their way into the trade and nobody knows what they are. They Some people think they're Intermis, Bongso, Naga. Some think they're Lingulata mixed with an Intermis or a Bongso. There's a lot of speculation, but again, nobody's sending these to be gene sequenced, I guess. My Naga is doing quite well, as you can see, nice and dark. Um, actually, it's pointy under, something just poked me under the lid. There's actually a a point under the very tip right here that just poked me. That was actually decently sharp. I could feel that. Uh, Pudica. I know several people always want to know how Pudica is doing. Pudica is a newer species that was discovered in 2022, I believe. I got this one in 2023 from Nepenthes Odyssey. She, she sometimes sells cuttings of hers. She has two that she got off of Fluoride, to my understanding how that worked out, because Fluoride is the only one I know who was selling any at any time they sold like six so not a very well known nepenthes kind of purple traps but it's the only one that grows traps underground so th it would actually be kind of cool to see how this will procreate but you're not going to see anything bred with pudica for quite a few years oh, excuse me uh Cirecia, doing quite well big leaf jump nice trap pushed out here same as there you can see how the traps are developing they get kind of a nice purple speckle doing quite well so there. We'll go over to the side. Raja Expert Burgundy. Also called Alcipin and Trinitus. I go back and forth of keeping this one in all truth. Um I do like Raja, but I'm not a big fan of this hybrid in particular. It's not that I don't like it. It's just I already have pure Raja that grows slow, and the only real difference is this one gets some stripes and whatnot when it's in the lowers. Raja's in their upper traps actually do get stripes. I found out that was actually rather interesting. So I go back and forth. So this one, and I think my Raba Cantlyx Raja are on my sales list. If anybody's wanting one of those, I'm not going to charge an arm and a leg for that. Now let's see. This is a variegated Gracilis. I have two of these. I have one that is a sea ground black uh, Gracilis, and then I have this one, which is the tricolored Gracilis. Where to get its first picture finally with me? Look at that. It's pathetic and tiny, but it's doing it. <laughs> uh, Velosa. I had a few people saying I was growing this wrong. I'm like, you know, it's still growing, so I'm not going to complain. I've grown quite a few highlands. I think I'm doing it right. I don't think I'm doing great, but I'm doing it to a point that's not dead. Uh, we'll check out my macrophile. As you can see, it's doing quite well. I'm going to try to get in here as much as I can. A uh, little bit of trap jumps. Doing well. It's recovering well. Mind you, my macrophylla was originally this size. After being shredded, eaten, and cut, and regrown, it's now it's the smallest of my macros, but it used to be the largest. So this one's already got, actually, that's already got three growth jumps on it. How impressive. Sneaky little macro. I didn't even see it do those. Uh, so this is macrophylla from BCP, clone 1998-23. This is my clone T, doing quite well as you can see. Clone T is pretty slow and about what I expect. This one's been throwing leaves and traps a little faster than I thought it would. Edward Sienna, still happy, still doing Edward Sienna things. It's inflating that trap. Oh, the Hamadas, excuse me. Ah. Sleepy all of a sudden. Uh, Hamada AW1, nice stout traps, BE. 3975, which I got extra small, is now catching up to my other Hamada. But it's not getting the tall status, but the Tempo Sissy are a little more squat. Now, AW4, which is a little bit also, is also kind of squat. With that. So I wonder if it'll just slowly start getting taller or go this route. I don't know why AW1s are more toothy inward, where the others are more open. Might be a variant between the clones. Unsure, unsure. Uh, my Diabolica just popped its trap. So if you've never seen a Diabolica trap pop, there is a fresh one on that. I don't often see this clone. This is my favorite, so as it's the only one I have, I've been able to grow quite well, as you can see, so far at, from a young age. So this is the AW4, which was the only Diabolica so far, to my understanding, from the AW line to be confirmed female. I'm not sure if the others have been confirmed male, but this one flowered female. Doing quite well. In my conditions as you can see it's very happy it's got five traps going on six seven plus um velosa hamada nice larger trap something catching up 
and getting larger. This is, if you needed something that was Velosa and Hamada like, that's probably the best hybrid to grow so far in my collection. It's toothy, like Hamada and Velosa. It's got the leaves like Velosa, squat, different color shifting too, so very pretty. Here is the seedlings in bag two. I have not yet seen any green spots. Nebularum is still doing its weird curly nebularum thing. The two Robs are doing Rob stuff. The, old, the newer trap on the Rob finally darkened. Nice tall trap on this one. Palinensis, this is my striped one. It actually has a nice trap inflating. This one tends to like the tink better. I'm not sure if the humidity is better or the lighting frequency. My seed grown one doesn't seem to care where I put it in. Like you saw, it's growing like three or four traps out in the open area. A timber guy doing quite well. Mariliana. I might sell this Mariliana because, the, I mean, it's just a Mariliana. There's nothing really crazy about them. They do get nice and big and squat, and this is a seed grown, but I might add this to my list. Unsure. Go back and forth. Or trade it for something. That'd actually probably be the best. My Nardoi, as you can see, has a nice trap down there. I hope it gets stripes, because I've seen some of these get some really intense striping. And then here's our one-of-a-kind hybrid. As you can see, the trap's doing well. It's already producing its second trap. So it's a, it it's pretty hardy. It came in here. It did not lose its trap at all. Very happy with that. So I can keep looking at it, making comparisons to it. It's ribbed. It's toothy. It's got a gradient of yellow and red. And it's got a body that's probably going to be reddish. So I hope it darkens up, too. I already got a new growth tip. But it only had that trap when I got it. Now it's got a second trap and now a third one developing. So that is a wrap up for the tank setup. Oh, sorry. So in here, uh, as you can see, I've got cuttings and basils and my belly eye little forest. I've condensed this down because I had uh, done some trimmings and sold some of the cuttings off or given them out as gifts in various stages. Doing well. This is a Peltata. I put this one up here because it wasn't doing well down there, but it seems to be pushing a new growth pretty well. This one's been kind of unstable. I don't know if it just doesn't like my collection conditions or it's doing Peltata things. Per what I know, the people who've grown them, Peltata can be finicky. Some can be happy. Some can just never picture, then they picture once, and they picture for no time at all, then they get basils. So I think I'll sell this one for $35. I've tried a few times, but nobody seemed to want it. But it's a 4025. They are, yeah, this one does have stripes when it did picture. It was yellow parasome with stripes. Done quite well. So I think I'll, I'll put that one up for 30 for any of you who pop up and see that. But uh, the Ventricosa, no, I'm sorry, Ventrata and Bellii Exoristo plant A, which is just a serpentine plant. I've taken all the cuttings that I could off of it, but it's still got this massive one here. So, massive belly eye, are you still cutting? That's already funny. <laughs> oh, crazy. I did give um, my neighbor my Ventrata's cutting. It had a basil at the bottom by the roots, so I, I trimmed off a little bit of the roots. Maybe that'll slow its growth, and I gave it to her, so. Doing well. Uh, belly eye B has a little little tiny basil at the top and then this crazy one uh let's see i believe i still have the hamada x aristo and i give away the diabolica x aristo let me check now i have to check this is with my brain no this is the aristo x diabolica so i have the aristo x diabolica i gave away the hamada x aristo that's what it was uh, as i said my memory's off but we can see a trap in there from uh, my Tom's Carnivore weird hybrid. And then you can see right here is uh, Vivid Machine. So they're all doing well. If you're wondering why I have power tools, it's because I was doing uh, a bit of a project in the backyard. Trying to build an outer deck. Some of you knew. I, I was talking to a few of you. Doing quite well with that. Uh, that's a weekend project. Trying my best to do that when I have the energy and or strength. But doing my best. Queen Milani. Ventricosa X Rapa Can't Lie. Look at the teeth on that. Nice, happy, 
but she had a weird leaf, so I'm not too sure what I did to tick her off, but her other leaf's doing well, and her new leaf's doing fine. I did forget to water her for a week, so honestly, I forget to... Let's just whack my hand. Honestly, I forget to water her <laughs> quite often, and she seems okay with that, because she likes to dry out a bit. But if you go too long, then you get a bad leaf, and she's upset. So she is a queen. You have to treat her as such, right? <laughs> anyway, that's a wrap-up for May. I hope everybody's doing well, and, you know, questions, comments, whatnot. Need to chat with me again, Wise Exotics. Any of the plants that I said were for sale are still for sale at this time. Unless you message me and I tell you otherwise in the future. Uh, so, Trevor out. I wish you the best of May, and I'll see you at the end of May, or if I decide to do any other discussion videos.